demonstration video of the vacuum hand pro crane for handling bags. We have sample bags of lime and borax, 55 pound bags of those, and we'll test lifting those. Just to give you a quick run through on the vacuum hand pro crane. The plate that I'm standing on here is a portable plate. You take it around with a pallet jack or a forklift. There's holes down here in the base. You'll be able to take a pallet jack in, or you take your forklift into the slots and pick it up and move it. Um, you have a height adjustable tower, so you can fit into whatever area you need to fit into. You're going to come to you fully lowered, and you can raise it up to whatever height need be, and there will be a red line to indicate the upper level of the, uh, of the tower. It has a motor starter fuse disconnect panel on it, so you have your disconnect, have a green start, red stop button. Um, all It's all fused, um, everything's in there to be able to disconnect power to it and run. You can 208, 230, or 480 volt power, it's no problem. Um, we have the vacuum pump for this video just sitting on the floor right now. Normally there's a vacuum pump platform that mounts at the back of the tower right here. Uh, we don't have that in the position at this moment. This is for the demonstration video, but the pump would be sitting up on this uh, base um, on the back of the tower. Up at the arm, you have uh, two arms. Uh, for a 10 foot arm, you have 5 foot arm, 5 foot arm, that's what this one is, 5 foot inner, 5 foot outer arm. Uh, you have a lock to hold the arms back together. That's, this pull cord is about, you can disconnect that pull cord and allow the arms to hold out. We have 2 inch vacuum supply hose that runs up along the arms and over to the vacuum lift tube. This is the vacuum lift tube here, this is the vacuum hand, this is a hollow lift tube. This is what is generating by contracting, by closing vacuum off on the control head, it causes to contract and generate the lift. The control head I have here, you have two neutral positions, you have two knobs located on the handle. This one adjusts the height um, when you don't have a load on it, and this adjusts the height once you have a load. Now we'll show you that when we pick up. This is what controls the lift. You squeeze it to go up, or you push it to go down. It's that simple. You have a bag suction foot with a flexible foam gasket and also a bag stopper down inside the suction foot to keep the bag from sucking all the way up inside the suction foot. Um, we'll do a quick run through of the four bags. We'll lift all four of them and pick them from the pallet and place them over on a little table here. Now we have this operational. This is the knob. You turn it to right to raise it and to the left to lower it and it will always come back to this position. It's in neutral position when you have no load on it. Once you pick up a load, you're going to adjust this knob to raise or lower it, and again, it'll come back to that position. It's not 100% when you're handling a bag, because every bag has got different porosity to it, so it may not come exactly, but it will give you a good position to look at there. And now, vacuum is always on, so vacuum is always down to the suction foot. All you're going to do is push the down button, or down lever, down to the bag. You kind of want to pop it down to it. You let go of the trigger, and you can see it start to suck to the bag. At that point, you can squeeze the trigger and go up. You can adjust the balance position by turning the knob. You know, I don't have my hand on the control handle. It's just floating. You can still squeeze the trigger and get it to go up. Push the trigger to go down. You see it, it'll go basically at the speed that the operator wants to move at. You're going to come over to wherever you're going to place the bag. We'll put it here. You're going to push the trigger down all the way, and that will release the vacuum. And you kind of rock it back, let go of the trigger, and it takes itself up out of the way. We'll do the rest of the bags here. I'll kind of go through it again. Again, push the trigger down onto the bag. You can see the vacuum grab. It's already lifting up for you. Squeeze the trigger, raise it up to whatever height you want. You see you have 360 degree swivel on the unit. You can have it whatever angle. Again, very simple. Finger, push it down, rock it back, let it go, and you're good to go. And down onto the bag. Pick it up, get it around, one finger, take it down, push it down, let it go.